When I was a kid, a man across the street died. No one knew him, no one cried. He died alone, his name was Ed. His loft lay quiet now that he's dead. As time went on, the third floor lay empty and bare, until it was bought by my parents, as they were totally unaware. They moved in and business was good, until I noticed Ed watching the neighborhood. Sent across the road to do chores in the dark, is frightfully scary for an eight-year-old to embark. The stairs went on and on, up to the third floor. With the feeling of being watched, I raced for the door. The loft was cold and dusty, with no one around. I make my way to the back, my steps creaking along the ground. Walking across the room, a cold chill crawls up my back. Is something behind me ready to attack? Am I alone in this desolate place? Or is Ed there with a decaying face? I find a room empty with nothing but a chair. Then a loud scream, this is truly a nightmare. An odd scratching sound coming from the back, down the hallway that leads into shadow and black. Creeping down the hall, quietly and scared, I approach the door, slowly and prepared. I open the door, revealing the room. Nothing is there. Empty, with just the light of the moon. I'm just a kid with an active mind. No ghosts or ghouls. Nothing of that kind. Suddenly, standing down the hall, Ed, with his head against the wall. I stand frozen in complete fear. He's trying to say something, but it's unclear. He reaches out to me, I don't know what to do, walking towards me, looking scared and slightly see-through. I flee away towards the door. He appears in before me, letting out a large roar. Running to the back, Ed lets out another shout. My foot gets caught and I wipe out. There must be another way out of this place. The far room has a door, yes, a back staircase. I find the stairs, but they are rusted and old. I hear Ed approaching, I hope these will hold. Running down the stairs, I see Ed following behind. Is this real or just in my mind? I swing open the door to a stormy night. One last look back beheld quite a sight. Standing in the doorway with terror on his face, trapped and unable to leave this dark, empty place. I never went back over at night. Always had someone with me and in the light. Ed is still there in that building on Kildare Street. Seeing that building still gives me cold feet. Still watching from the window, eyes so dead. The ghost that can't leave, and his name is Ed. <laughs>